zone. Touchdown! His fourth touchdown of the night. They're not visible enough! And Stafford is sacked. He's just a, an absolute force. Diving grab. Touchdown! Here's Devontae Adams of the NFL's best. It is intercepted by Rasul. Throws left side of the end zone. Intercepted by the Packers. It is the goal! Mason Crosby got it done! Aaron Rodgers officially back inside Lambeau Field, and certainly his presence here indicates that that contract now is finalized. The tone for head coach Matt LaFleur has changed quite a bit from that of uncertainty to optimism now. With him, we feel like the sky's the limit. I can say that he is the most competitive person I've ever been around. I think their offense could be even better. I think the Packers could be even better than they were. At the Packers are working on a trade to bring Randall Cobb, the wide receiver, back to Green Bay. This is a huge get for the Green Bay Packers. Devontae is an all-pro inside or outside receiver. To have another guy in there who can get open like that, you know, just gives us a lot of flexibility in the offense. It feels different because I feel like for the first time in a long time, Aaron Rodgers doesn't have to carry the load by himself. I am dying to see what this evolution of Aaron Rodgers looks like back on the field after a crazy offseason. Welcome to opening kickoff weekend. Rodgers throws and he's picked. Two interceptions in this quarter for Aaron Rodgers. On second down, air it out, Deontay Harris. He's got it, touchdown, another for Winston. This was a spanking. Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers in the pack start 0-1. I'm shocked at what happened, and Rodgers <laughs> was bad, and the yeah. Packers were bad. I can't believe that happened, Are you? but I, I'm not worried. Okay. Good teams don't usually have uh, four performances back-to-back. Packers coming off a shocking loss to the Saints. Rodgers bootlegs right, throws right, got his man, end zone, touchdown, Aaron Jones. And a Lambo leap to the north end zone for showtime. Aaron Jones is playing with a heavy heart. This is the first time he's playing here at Lambeau Field without his father in attendance. Touchdown! His fourth touchdown of the night. What's a game like this mean to you, getting to honor your dad like that, especially coming off how you guys played last week? It's super special, you know. My dad's always taught me how you respond is what makes a man, really. And uh, so I think we came out and we did a good job of responding. And we played well. We played at a high level. Garoppolo back. Garoppolo throws over the middle. Cut by Kyle Juszczyk. He'll dive into the end zone with 37 seconds to go. 28 to 27. Not over yet. What does Rodgers have up his sleeve here? Rodgers fires over the middle. Caught Adams. Adams will try to get out of bounds. He's at the 49-yard line. He stopped there. Rodgers with five seconds takes the snap and grounds the football. Wow. Crowd in full throat here at Levi Stadium. Down one. Mason Crosby, 21 consecutive field goal makes. Here it is. Placement made. Kick to the upright. And it is good! It is good! It is good! Mason Crosby has done it again! All Aaron needed was 37 seconds. My goodness. What a ball game. Oh, what a game. That was, uh, that's one I will never forget. Rodgers with one touchdown pass in this game. His next one would tie Dan Marino for sixth on the all-time list. He dumps it off right side, got his man in the end zone, touchdown! Woo-hoo! What company to be in, Dan Marino! Remember that crazy Bengals-Packers game? All that stuff with the kickers. And this one is no good! Oh! Off the upright! Out! No good! It's no good! His third straight miss! Off the upright! Can they get it done here for the win from the left hash? Here's the kick. It is up. It is good. Mason Crosby got it done. Fourth time a charm for Mason Crosby. We learned from that one, right? Four game winning streak. They're coming into Soldier Field now. Huge rivalry. Rodgers is inside the pylon. Touchdown Packers. He had some choice words there for the crowd. I looked up in the stands and in the front row all I saw was a woman giving me a double bird. I'm not sure exactly what came out of my mouth next. 
What is the impact in your eyes, guys, with all this COVID news on Thursday Night Football with Joe Barry on defense and, of course, missing Adams? Yeah, Matt LaFleur, you know, a lot of Coach of the Year talk already this season. This is where you really earn it, though, when it's adversity and there's things that you can't expect. You have to adapt. And we're set for one of the big Thursday night games of the season. The Green Bay Packers at 6-1 and one, and the undefeated Arizona Cardinals at 7-0. and oh. Crucial situation. We gotta come through, guys. We gotta come through. Inside handoff goes to Aaron Jones. Bulldozes Look his at way that. to the goal line as he in. Touchdown! They're not physical enough! Let's go! A leaping grab is made. Randall Cobb. Yes! Fourth and goal from the one. He keeps, rolls right, throws the ball, batted in the air, and incomplete. And the Cardinals take over on downs. Wow, what an unbelievable finish again with the Green Bay Packers. High snap again. End zone and picked off. Intercepted by Rasul Douglas. And the Packers are going to win it. That's probably the first time I like won a game like that. It was like a shocking feeling, like, oh, snap. Rasul Douglas, the interception in the end zone, and the Packers have defeated the Arizona Cardinals. The unbeatens are no longer 24 to 21 Green Bay. What a way to lose your first game of the season. Without yeah. MBS, the best receiver in the league, Devontae Adams, Alan Lazard, our do-it-all guy, to have these guys come out and play the way they did, I'm so proud of them. Aaron Rodgers is out for Sunday's game against the Kansas City Chiefs. We throw Jordan Love into the uh, fire, so to speak. Jordan Love takes the snap. Chiefs are blitzing. Lola Love won't escape this time. They're bringing it all out. They're eating us up. We just weren't able to execute on those plays that we had against it. And it is intercepted. The seven-game winning streak for the Packers is over. It's not always going to be great. The show uh, kind of got to go on. Russell Wilson is expected to be back against the Green Bay Packers in what is a huge game, a game that also should feature Aaron Rodgers. Wilson takes, throws left side of the end zone, intercepted in the end zone by the Packers. A.J. Dillon, there's no stopping him in there. He runs through a tackle attempt of Jordan Brooks, then gets a block downfield by MVS, and then runs through another. The big fella tight roping the sideline. A.J. Dillon in fitting fashion. Pile drives. All that's left now, can they shut out Russell Wilson for the first time in his NFL career? Deep down the middle in the end zone, it's intercepted! Adrian Amos! How about shutting out Russell Wilson? That's got to be quite the feather in the hat, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's hands down. It's a great feeling just going out there, just playing a great defense, just playing a total game. I still think that they may be the best team in the entire NFL right now. And Whoa. they lose Devontae, they win. They, they lose Rodgers, they come back and they win. There's a lot going on with the Packers right now. So the Packers, here we go. Down seven. Blitz coming, Rodgers floats one. He's got MVS, he's running down the left sideline. It's Secretary to the Belmont, no one will catch him. Back and forth in this second half, and now Rodgers on the bomb, 75 yards of Valdez scam. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, a hell of a job. We've now seen it all. A well-timed screen left, caught by Dalvin. Makes a Packer miss with the 40, into Packers territory to the 45. Gets him into their two minute now. Making the catch and losing the coverage down the left side, it is Thielen. When he let it go, it looked like it could have been picked. A 29-yard field goal to win the game against the 8-2 Packers. Snap, spot, Joseph. Yes, he did. He walked off on the Green Bay Packers. Going forward towards, you know, to play the Rams, we know we got to fix a lot of things, and we know we got to fix them as fast as possible to get the ball back rolling and get back to ourselves. Touchdown! Bad foot and all! Come on! Stafford going downfield for Jefferson. He's got him. Jefferson able to stay upright and he is gone. It's third down. Rodgers throws, going for the deep shot and delivers a strike to Devontae Adams. Fires it over the middle. Handle, touchdown! 
Stafford fires, he's picked, intercepted by Russell Douglas. High stepping, touchdown, Green Bay, and a third quarter dagger. It's 36 to 17. Stafford is sacked. I mean, he's just a, an absolute force. And the Green Bay Packers certainly answered the call of physicality, took control of the line of scrimmage, and the game. These ones mean a little bit more, but I have no, uh, you know, no regrets for saying what I said. And, and uh, obviously, I think the, the record kind of speaks for itself. Prime time games. I think it's a great opportunity for those guys to, to showcase what they're all about. So you're going to get the full dose of what this rivalry is all about. You're going to see Robert Quinn come in, get the sack and then give him the uh, championship belt right there and say, yeah, baby. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool to have a celebration. People have mocked it over the years. It usually hasn't ended well for most of the people who've done it. Adams makes the catch, cuts it back with a five. End zone, touchdown. I apologize sincerely. No, no damage done to the face, right? No plastic stuff that good. It is showtime to the five, to the pylon. To touchdown, Green Bay. <laughs> We expect to win the North every year, um, and that's just the standard we set for ourselves. Diving grab, touchdown! This is outstanding for the Green Bay Packers to see Valdez Scanling doing some of the things that he's doing. Hey, let's go win the North, right? Come here, take this note, all right? Hey, this is where we set the standards, like I said, help everywhere. Huntley in the shotgun, takes the snap, scans the secondary, steps up, takes it himself, he's to the five of the end zone, touchdown! And it is 31-30. The Ravens are going for two. Green Bay's lead is one. And the Packers get one stop here on a two-point conversion. Come on, guy. Snap to Huntley, rolls right. Throws right side of the end zone. Incomplete. The Packers are going to hang on and win this game by one, 31-30. I think it's important to keep that perspective on how special uh, accomplishing this is three years in a row. And so just to enjoy it, to savor it, savor these moments. These are, these are special moments. I know it's a huge record. It's monumental. 443 is the targeted number of touchdowns for Aaron Rodgers, which will push him past Brett Favre, the great Brett Favre. We just know that 443 is coming up. It's going to be a special one. It's on Christmas, and it's in Lambeau. Great gratitude. A lot of love out there. Just ball out. Score on three. One, two, three. Score. Aaron Rodgers, one touchdown pass away from surpassing Brett Favre. Rodgers throws right side, making the catch, Lazar diving, pylon, touchdown, and there it is, number 443, Aaron Rodgers, the most prolific touchdown passer in Green Bay Packers history. Congratulations, man, on passing my touchdown record. It's a lot of touch, bro. Congrats, brother. Moment I'll never forget, for sure, and, and I'm thankful that, uh, you know, for Favre's message, for the response from the guys and the crowd, obviously, was really special. So they win the division. There's so much goodwill. Rodgers catches Favre. It's on their turf. The Green Bay Packers, number one seed. The road to Super Bowl 56 in the NFC comes through Lambeau. It really is the last dance for having this type of group here. There's no excuse but to go and, you know, take care of business now. I know this means a lot to our fans who I think are the best in the world. You know, we had a you know great run through the regular season. Everybody's putting so much work. Whatever you see, you got, baby. Love you, dude. Let's get it. Hey, Jay Dillon, six-yard touchdown run. That was a marvelous opening drive. No, I felt like it was it was our year, and it's so tough in this league because that window is so tight, and the margin for error is slim, and um, you know, we're right there, you at the team, but you got to do it. You got to overcome, you got to get the job done, and we didn't. Special teams killing the Packers. In shock, for sure. Didn't expect this, but that's life sometimes. Sometimes you think things are going to go a certain way, and they take a big course correction. It has come down to this 45-yard field goal attempt. High snap, placement made, kick end over end to the uprights, and it is good. I hurt for him. We've got to keep searching for whatever it is to help us get over the hump. And my commitment to this organization, to our players, our coaches, 
our fans, everybody is that we are going to be relentless in that pursuit to get us over the hump. So obviously the season didn't end the way that you would have liked, but those high moments you could really hang your hat on. And the 2021 AP Most Valuable Player is Aaron Rodgers. What a year, huh? I'd like to thank Matt LaFleur and his perfectly groomed eyebrows. Two out of three years winning this thing, you're a huge part of this. I love you, I appreciate you. I mean, shoot, the guy's done so much for so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in that organization, everybody in that city. And I'd like to thank my teammates. Uh, this is a special league that provides you so many incredible friendships that last longer than your time in the league. I love you, baby. Cool.